Just now, Margaret have uh, give you a very clear and detailed examination of the legal provisions regarding the licensing regime for trusts or company service providers. Uh, in my presentation, I will focus on the operational perspectives of the licensing regime. I think right now, everyone of you knows that on the 1st of March, the new licensing regime has commenced operation. And to facilitate the op uh, implementation of the new licensing regime, we have set up a new office in Kowloon Bay, just a few stories behind it. This new office is the registry for trusts and company service providers. Uh, as I have mentioned, it's in Kowloon Bay, quite near here. Uh, you can refer to the location map here to see the relevant location of the uh, new office. Uh, this new office is very convenient to be reached by uh, public transport. It's near the MTR station at Kowloon Bay. For instance, I walk to my office every morning and it takes me about less than 10 minutes walk to reach my office. If you come to our office, that's what you see in a public area. This new office is to manage and to process all documents or applications relating to the new licensing regime. Besides, we have also set up a dedicated new website to serve the licensing regime. And this is the address, tcsp.cr.gov.hk. I'm sure that uh, many of you here have already visited our website. And maybe some of you have already registered to use our website and deliver your application uh, electronically. And for for those who have not yet used our website, I will do a little promotion here. It's a 24-hour website. Uh, our design has also catered for using my, uh, mobile devices and smartphones to access our service. You can obtain useful information regarding our licensing regime, including uh, specified forms, information plan vest, guidelines, um, external circuits. Uh, we also update from time to time the frequently asked questions to reflect the latest position in the industry. And of course, we have also put up some demo, uh, demonstration video recently so that you can have a look on those videos to know more about uh, how the licensing regime works and uh, how you can register with our website to submit your application for license right away. Uh, I strongly recommend you to register to use our website because it's the, the registration procedure is quite easy and after you uh, successfully register with our web website, you can activate your account and start submitting your application electronically. All those procedures is very simple and direct. So after you register with our website, you can submit your application electronically and we provide different types of visits to guide you through all those applications and notification process. After you have submitted your uh, application, you can also download the submitted documents to uh, print it out for your record purposes. Whether or not you have registered to use our website, you can access uh, the register of TCSP licensees fee of charge. Before I go into details about the different types of application or notification, just to remind you that from the 1st of March, if you're going to perform, uh, carry on trust or company service business, you must apply for a license from the registrar. And after you have obtained the license, become a licensee, you must apply for the registrar's prior approval for adding a new ultimate owner, partner, or director, unless those person is exempted from the fit and proper test. 
and you will require to notify the registrar of changes in particulars and your intended cessation of trust or company's service business. If your uh, license is about to expire, you are required to apply for renewal of license at least 60 days before your license expires. But for that, it's at least three years from now, so I'm not going to into details about the renewal of license in this presentation. I'd like to draw your attention to this important day. It's the 28th of June this year, because it marks the end of the transitional period. So if you are going to submit your application for license, remember this date and uh, be sure to submit your application on or before that day. But of course, I will encourage all of you, if you are going to submit your application, submit it early and don't rush until the end. <laughs> to facilitate applicants and licensees to meet, uh, make different types of application or notification, we have designed the seven specified forms for use. They are under the TCSP series. TCSP1 is for you to uh, make application for license. TCSP2 is for making application for renew or license. TCSP3 is for making application for approval for someone to become the ultimate owner, partner, or director of uh, licensee. TCSP4 of and five sound very similar because they are both statement as regard fit and proper test. They are not to be submitted as application form by itself. They are submitted uh, together with the different types of application like form TCSP 1, 2, or 3. Uh, it's to be completed and signed by the person who is subject to the fit and proper test. The difference between the two is that uh, TCSP 4 is for use if the person involved is an individual. TCSP 5 is to be used if the person involved is a corporation. That's the difference. TCSP 6 is for making notification of changes particulars. And 7 is for use to notify the registrar of cessation of trust or company service. Uh, for that, I'm uh, going into detail about uh, the application for license. I think most of you are keen to know more about how to make an application for a license in this presentation. Uh, who can make an application? An individual who carries out business as a sole proprietor or a partnership or a corporation can make application. But the prerequisite is that uh, the applicant uh, must be holding a valid business registration certificate. To start with the application, the applicant has to prepare a form TCSP1 and the application fee for the application is 3,440. However, we have recently designed a supplementary information sheet regarding the form TCSP1. So when you prepare your application, be sure to download the supplementary information sheet from our website and complete it. The information sheet is very simple. It just consists of one page that requires you to provide basic information about your intended business. So be sure to download the supplementary information sheet and submit it together with your application. Regarding all those persons who are subject to fit and proper test, the person have to prepare and sign a form TCSP4 or form TCSP5, depending on whether the person is an individual or a corporation. And there will be an additional fee for each person. Uh, the additional fees is 975 for each person who are subject to the fit and proper test. 
And for those persons who are exempted from the fit and proper test, the licensee, uh, uh, the applicant are still required to uh, report the particulars in the form TCSP1 for us to check and to uh, submit a copy of the documentary proof showing that the person is belongs to the group or category of person who are subject to, uh, who are exempted from the fit and proper test. Let me show you two examples to illustrate how the application procedure goes. The first example is an, uh, the applicant is a uh, partnership, we call it partnership X. This partnership has three partners. Partnership A, uh, individual A is a person exempted from fit and proper test. Individual B and a corporation, corporation C, there are three partners in it. So partnership X has to prepare from TCSP1 and of course a supplementary information sheet. And regarding individual A, uh, the, the applicant has to provide a copy of the documentary proof showing that individual A is exempted from the fit and proper test. And for individual B, the person has to prepare and sign a form TCSP1. And Corporation C also need to prepare and sign a form TCSP5. And the application fee payable for this application is 5,390. Uh, 5, Let me show you another example. This time is a corporation, Corporation Y. And in Corporation Y, there is an individual A who is the director as well as the ultimate owner of the corporation. And there's also a corporation B, which is the director of the uh, corporation. So corporation Y have to prepare the form TCSP1 and of course a uh, supplementary information sheet plus a form TCSP4 in respect of uh, individual A. Although individual A serve uh, due capacity as director or ultimate owner, there's no need for individual A to prepare and submit two TCSP4, only one suffice. And for Corporation B, Corporation B should prepare and sign a form TCSP5. So the total fee payable in respect of this application is also 5,390. After we receive the application, we will check whether the, all those particulars reported and the supplementary documents are in order. And of course, we will perform fit and proper tests in respect of the, all those persons involved. If a license is granted, um, the applicant will be notified to collect the license. But how to collect it will depend on how the application was made in the first place. If the application is made in uh, hard copy form, uh, the applicant will be notified to collect the license at our Kowloon Bay office. If the application is made electronically, uh, the applicant can simply log in his account at our website and download the license himself or herself. Uh, let's move on to the application for approval to become a licensee's ultimate owner, partner, or director. The application should be made in form TCSP3 and for each person of which approval is required should submit, uh, prepare and sign a form TCSP4 or TCSP5, depending on whether the person is an individual or a corporation. And the application fee in respect of each person whom approval is applied is 1,140. So let me illustrate with another example. This time, a licensee is a corporation set. 
corporations in corporation set, uh, the corporation want to use, uh, apply for approval in respect of two new directors, uh, corporation A and B, uh, individual A or corporation B. Corporation set has to submit a TCSP3 and for individual A, individual should prepare and sign a form TCSP4 and for corporation B, the corporation B should prepare and sign a form TCSP5. So the application fee in respect of this application is a total of 2,280. After we receive the application, of course we will check the particulars are in order, including uh, we are also required to perform fit and proper tests in respect of those person whom approval is applied. If this uh, application is successful, a written approval will be issued to their licensee. And after the licensee have obtained our written approval, then it can make necessary arrangements for the person to become its owner, its ultimate owner, partner, or director. But that's not the end of the story. After the licensee have made those necessary if, uh, changes and arrangements, and the person actually become its ultimate owner, partners or director and within one month of the change the licensee is required to notify the registrar using a form TCXP6. Then let us move directly to how you can notify the registrar of changes using a form TCSP6. The general requirement is that the licensee should notify the registrar of the changes in particulars within one month using a form TCSP6. There's no fee attached to the delivery of form TCSP6, but to facilitate licensee to report different types of changes using a single form, we have flexibly designed it, uh, five schedules for reporting different types of changes. Actually, licensees can use a mix and match approach if you are going to uh, report uh, changes in different categories or particulars using the same form. You can select the appropriate uh, schedule and attach it to the form TSSP6. Uh, you can see a detail of different uh, five different types of schedules here that I'm not going to in detail about it. If after we, we, we receive the, the notification, we will check whether the particulars reported are in order and we will update our database regarding the TCSP licensees. If the changes in particulars involved the name and business address of the licensee, we will also update the uh, register of TC licensees real time. If, for whatever reason, the licensee intend to cease its trust or company service business, it should notify the registrar before the intended date of cessation of business. The notification is to be made in the from TCSP7, and again, there's no fee attached to the delivery of this form. After we receive the form, we will check whether the documents and the particulars there in, uh, in order. And on the intended date of cessation of business, we will cancel the license of the licensee and remove the name of the licensee from the TCSP. Uh, at the register of TCSP licensees. Then you cannot no longer search the particulars, the, the name and red business address of the licensee from the red, uh, register thereon. We have talked about different types of application or notification. Then how 
you can deliver your application or notification to our office. It all depends on in what format you are going to deliver your application. If you are going to deliver your application in hard copy form, you have to deliver it to our Kowloon Bay office and it's the detailed address of our office. <coughs> Sorry. Um, if you are going to deliver your um, application electronically, just log in our system and uh, register with us to deliver your document electronically. So I strongly recommend you to use our electronic service and register with our website. If you are going to deliver it in person, we open from Monday to Friday and from 9.45 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon. There's no lunch break, so if you prefer to uh, visit our office during lunch, we will continue our service to serve you. Uh, for our electronic service, it's around the clock. There's no break in uh, our office. And if you deliver your application electronically, you can pay it online using Visa card, MasterCard, and PPS by the internet. But if you prefer to uh, submit your application in hard copy form, you can deliver it in person and pay by cash or check. And if you deliver by post, we only accept check payment. Regarding the enforcement of a licensing regime, uh, all TCSP licensees should comply with the statutory requirements of the AM law, including the uh, customer due diligence requirements and record keeping requirements. And for these two, I'm going to uh, have a detailed uh, uh, presentation on these two areas later today. And licensees are also required to comply with the condition of license. Uh, our staff will conduct compliance inspection at your business premises if they uh, visit your business premises to conduct compliance inspection, uh, please cooperate with our staff and provide them the necessary records of transaction for them to, to inspect to ensure that you have complied with the requirement of the AMLO and the licensing condition. I do believe that every one of you here will comply with uh, those requirements, but for those who failed to comply with uh, those requirements may be subject to prosecution or the license may be suspended or revoked as the case may be or to, when the licensee apply for renewal license we may consider not to renew the license and of course the registrar may exercise her power to take disciplinary action against the uh, licensee including a public demand or order the licensee to remedy the non-compliance of the relevant uh, regulations or requirement or order the licensee to pay a pecuniary penalty not exceeding uh, 500 Hong Kong dollar. 500,000 Hong Kong dollar. <laughs> Uh, just one last thing. Um, Margaret mentioned that uh, you can assess the register of TCSP licensees free of charge and the, license, uh, the register will show the name and business address of the licensee. For those who are going to apply for the license, be sure that under the, our licensing regime, that's the only information that is open for public inspection. For those detailed particulars or personal particulars that you provide to us through different types of application forms, supplementary documents, all of them are not going to be open for public inspection. So be sure that uh, you provide us with the correct or the detailed information that we need for processing your application. There's no worry that uh, this, those information will be open for public inspection. And for that is the end of my presentation. Thank you.